would presumably still be in the tree. Half the number of birds, maybe. It's drastic, isn't and it? The, and it is the noise, drastic. maybe the noise just comes from their side. Drastic measures. 6.23 is the time now. You're watching BBC Breakfast. So last month on Breakfast, we reported on the thousands of unmarried women in England who were forced to give up their babies for adoption in the 1950s, 60s and 70s. Now, tens of thousands of women in Scotland also went through the same trauma and now they want a formal apology from the Scottish Government. And today, some will meet the Children's Minister. A correspondent named Duncan Kennedy has been talking to two mothers about their experience. And that was Elspeth Ross ending that report from Duncan Kennedy. And just to say thank you to those women for giving us an insight into the impact that had of giving, have being forced um, to give their babies away or have their babies taken from them when they were young women. Yeah, it's worth saying we're going to be speaking to uh, Duncan Kennedy, correspondent you saw in that report a little later on, just after 10 past eight this morning. So get a little bit more uh, about uh, those stories and the people he's been speaking to. It's 28 minutes past six. Time to get the news, travel and weather wherever you are this morning. This is Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and Charlie State. Good morning. Coming up on Breakfast. 6.32 is the time. The NHS is gearing up for another weekend of walk-in vaccinations aimed at encouraging those from areas where uptake is low. There has been a significant drop in vaccine hesitancy among black and Asian communities. But the medical director of primary care for NHS England said some people were still anxious about coming forward for their vaccine. Now, this is something one of our regular GPs, Dr Nigat Arif, is very passionate about. Decided to share my own experience after reading an article by the author Catelyn Moran. And she had explained why she felt so strongly about this. So Catelyn Moran being very clear about her experiences and lots of other women have been in touch about their experiences. Dr Arif, stay with us because... Let's see, time is 6.44. Let's turn our attention to the... Thanks, Mike. Let's take a moment at 6.48 on a Thursday morning for Carol. Morning. Later on. Pleasure. It is eight minutes to seven. I am traumatised. I just want my life back. Those were the words of the pop star Britney Spears overnight as she told a court in Los Angeles that her father controlled her life and she wanted the arrangement to end. Jamie Spears was granted what's called a conservatorship of his daughter. That was in 2008, allowing him to make personal financial decisions on her behalf. Let's speak now from California to the lawyer and support giving evidence to a court in Los Angeles. Now, in response to those claims by Britney Spears, her father's lawyer read a statement on his behalf. It said he was sorry to see his daughter in so much pain and that he loved her very much. Time now to get the news, travel and the weather where you are. Good morning, welcome to breakfast with Nagaman Chetty and Charlie State. Our headlines. The late Good morning, it's Thursday the 24th of June. Our top story is the travel industry urging the government to add more countries to the list of destinations which don't require people to quarantine when they return. The green list for England is set to be updated today. There has been some speculation that Malta could be added along with the Spanish islands, Ibiza, Mallorca and Menorca. Ben is at Manchester Airport for Thank you very much. New research suggests that around 2 million people in England may have been left with long-lasting symptoms after contracting coronavirus, a condition known as long COVID. It comes as the UK recorded the highest number of daily cases since February, as Matt Graving now reports. The American pop star Britney Spears has urged a judge in California to remove her father's control over her personal and financial affairs. Jamie Spears was granted what's called a conservatorship of his daughter in 2008 after she was hospitalised over concerns for her mental health. Our Los Angeles correspondent Sophie Long has the latest. I wonder if she was going to say full of beans. It's, it, it is fascinating, isn't it? Because it's like a little... It's the closest we get... So the next bit of those meetings that have happened forever between Prime Minister and, and the Queen, where we know nothing of mm. what is said, and then for that little moment in time, we were able to listen in and hear what's said. Only a little bit, though. Time now is ten minutes past seven. Now, the Yorkshire Wolds and Cheshire Sandstone Ridge could be designated as new areas of outstanding natural beauty. We're going to we want to get out in them. Um, Carol's going to tell us.
because she's... Oh, look at you, you're all framed. It's like you're taking shelter from the miserly weather that we've seen. <laughs> you know, poor Ben out in the rain for us this morning. It, it's not great in Manchester. Sign. No, there's... A... In the deeper, in the longer forecast. Oh, if you're in Scotland or Northern Ireland, this weekend...